Today has just been one of those days where nap time is not happening in my house. So I am going to stick to a super simple recipe and it is called salted date walnut milk. Um, many of you have most likely noticed the prevalence of nut milks in recent years, specifically in the last decade. I feel like they've become super popular, whether it be because people are realizing they have dairy sensitivities, dairy allergies, or they're simply trying to avoid dairy products in order to minimize inflammation in their body. And that's one of the reasons that I like to use non-dairy options. So I'm always looking for um, alternatives that are also delicious. Now, don't get me wrong, I use store-bought nut milks and oat milks all the time. A lot of the nut milks, surprisingly, have lots of added gums and other preservatives and added refined sugar, which ends up kind of defeating the purpose of using them in the first place. So just be particular if you're going to buy store-bought with what, um, just get as simple of ingredients as possible on the back and make sure it's as clean of a milk as, as you can find. Um, but I'm here to show you today that it is a pretty simple process to make nut milk on your own. I think for a lot of people it seems intimidating, but it's really not. There are plenty of gadgets out there that you can use to make nut milk and do it in a cleaner, simpler way. But I'm going to do it the old school way today and use a nut milk bag. If you don't have one, you can buy one online. You can use a cheesecloth, a thin muslin dish towel, or simply like a fine mesh strainer and strain it through a couple times to make sure that you get all the pulp out. And I'm just gonna be using walnuts, dates, water, and salt. If you have just those, it's gonna make a delicious milk, but I like to add in lacuma and mesquite powder. If you can't find those at your local grocery store, you can easily buy them online or skip them, but I would recommend them because they really amp up the vitamin and mineral content in this milk, as well as add another layer of antioxidants and healthy fibers. And they just create this like delicious, almost caramelly flavor. So I really like adding them into my milks and smoothies and would recommend. I hope that you guys try it out and that you enjoy. Let me know what you think. I'm gonna move over here to show you exactly how I'm gonna make it. All right, so to make salted date walnut milk is a super simple process. It's just really important that you first soak your walnuts. So you're gonna soak one cup of walnuts in two cups of water for at least four hours, if not overnight. The longer they soak, the more nutritious and digestible they'll be, and the smoother your milk will be. And I like to go ahead and soak my two pitted dates with the walnuts and everything becomes smoother and creamier. So you're gonna pour your walnuts and dates in the blender along with two and a half cups of water. If you prefer a sweeter milk, go ahead and add another date in. And then I'm gonna add in a quarter of a teaspoon of salt, a half a teaspoon of mesquite powder, and a half a teaspoon of lucuma powder. If you have access to those, they are super nutritious, really high in vitamins and minerals and healthy fibers and antioxidants, and they add just this delicious um, caramelly flavor to the milk. Then you're gonna blend that, start it on low, and slowly increase the speed to high so that it doesn't spray out of your blender. Um, for at least two minutes, you just want to make sure that you get the walnuts and the dates completely blended so that there are no flakes of date skin or um, walnut skin still visible. So I'm going to keep that going. I've shortened the process on the video for you. And um, then I'm going to get my bowl prepared to strain the walnut milk. In order to do that, you're gonna to wanna to use a cheesecloth or a nut milk bag if you have one. If you don't have either of those, um, you can totally use a fine mesh strainer or a really um, thin like muslin dish towel. You're gonna to pour in the milk and then use your hands or if you have a strainer, a spoon to squeeze out all of the liquid so that all that you have remaining in your bag or whatever your um, cheesecloth or whatever you're using is the pulp and a dry pulp, as dry as you can get it. So I'm going to squeeze that in until it's completely out of my bag. And then I'm going to get ready to pour it into my serving container. Um, this will last 
in the refrigerator for up to three days. You're just going to want to stir it before serving um, since it can sometimes have the tendency to separate in the um, refrigeration process. Um, you can serve this on top of cereal, oats, or just drink it plain. Um, I really like to have a variety of different non-dairy milk alternatives since my daughter can't have dairy. And um, I'm always trying to switch it up to just add different nutrients and options and flavors. I hope you guys enjoy this. Let me know what you think experiment away. Feel free to add in different things and let me know how it goes. Enjoy!